All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we got a lift kit video for you and more specifically a drop axle lift kit video. So we've actually got one here in the shop. I want to show you. So come walk with me. So first thing to note about the drop axle lift kit is this is only going to be for the easy go TXT, Marathon and Medalist. Just the way those carts are made and set up that there's really no other carts that this works with, okay? In addition to that, a couple important things to note. You definitely gotta know your year and you gotta know your model because uh, depending on what you have, whether it's gas or electric, changes the insulation. And trust me, you don't wanna be knee deep in this thing and then figure out you got the wrong thing. No fun. All right, so I wanna walk you through some of the components, what the installation looks like. But before I do that, I gotta get this thing off the ground. So hang tight. So now that we got the cart up off the ground, I can kind of show you the inner workings of this thing. So with the drop axle lift kit, okay, this is kind of gonna be like your grandma's house. Some of it's new, a lot of it's old, but in a good way, not a bad old, all right? So when you come to the drop axle lift kit, you are gonna get some replacement parts, but you're also gonna get a lot of parts that you just reuse from the factory. That's just the nature of the drop axle because you're not doing a major install. So for the stuff you're gonna reuse, all right, let's talk about a few things. Number one, the steering box assembly. So you can find that right up here. And I've got the old style because this is an old style TXT. And with the steering box, that's gonna stay the same. In addition to that, you're gonna keep the same tie rods. So you can find those right here. So these are the factory tie rods. Um, obviously you can tell a little, a little dirty, but it's a golf cart, no one's really looking at that, right? You're gonna keep factory tie rods. In addition, you're gonna keep the factory spindles. So those are gonna be connected to your wheel hub. Okay, so that's those right here. And here's your wheel hub. Factory on all those things. So that's the stuff you're reusing from your cart in addition to your leaf springs and things like that. The new stuff, the shiny new stuff that everyone really likes is gonna be number one, your drop axle itself. So that's this big piece right here. Obviously that's a big part of lifting up the cart. You can see this ties directly into the shocks as well. Um, in addition to the drop axle itself, you're gonna get a spindle extension kit. So that is right back here, and this ties into your uh, tie rod ends right here. And the reason for that is if you didn't have that, you would be making some serious contact with your leaf springs. You get some serious rubbing. Nobody wants that, so you gotta get those things out of there. So hopefully by taking a look at this, you can kind of see, I know this isn't a step-by-step -step install, but hopefully you can kind of get a good idea of what this is gonna look like. It's pretty simple as far as lift kits are concerned. This is not a hard one um, and uh, definitely gets your cart where you need it to be. So uh, yeah, if you got any questions or comments, put those in the comment box below. And guys, make sure you're liking the video. That just tells YouTube that, you know, we're putting out content that people like. It really helps us out a lot. In addition, make sure you subscribe because if you got a golf cart or you're thinking about a golf cart, you're gonna wanna see our videos. So with that out of the way, we will catch you guys next time.